When the lights shine bright When the horn sounds When the crowd roars When the net swish When the clapping echoes It's easy to get caught up in the moment, to think it's all about me. To smile as they chant my name. But to me, it's not about the sport. It's not about the cheers, and it's not about the trophies. It's about using this platform that God has given me. It's about playing for His glory, not my own. And it's about directing the praise to Jesus, not to me. I may be a student. And I may be an athlete. But I am a Christian first. This city. This university. This stadium. This locker room. This is my mission field. field. These teammates are my brothers. My sisters. My friends, my family. Not just in sports. But in my life. I'm not here for the academics, or the athletics, for the fans, for the wins, or even for the glory. I'm here to share Jesus. I've been on staff with FCA almost 16 years, and as, as these 16 years have grown, um, we started out with six athletes. And those six athletes um, were faithful in pouring their lives into others. And, and basically what we've done is we've seen athletes come and see, we've seen athletes come and follow, we have seen athletes come and die to themselves, and now what we're seeing is we're seeing athletes um, come and reproduce themselves. And what started out as a six athletes, now on a Monday night, we'll get anywhere to 250 to 300 athletes every Monday night. I think one of the coolest things about FCA is that it's a community. Um, it's a group of people coming together on a Monday night looking to uh, worship Christ. It's a place where people can gather um, and get away from their everyday life and what they do on a typical day. You know, we have the same routine. We get up, we go to class, we come to practice, we study. That's our day. It's purpose driven and it's not for show. You know, Chris does this because he has a passion for it. He has a passion for, you know, providing guidance, you know, to young adults going through college far away from home. You know, I never had a brother or a sisterhood like we do at FCA. Chris Morgan has brought us all together and he has really showed us, you know, how to love, you know, one another just by telling us how God loves. At FCA, we remind the student athletes week after week uh, that they're not defined by the sport that they play, uh, that their identity is not how well they perform on the field or on the court or what achievements that they receive, but that they are sons and daughters of God. For me, it's just a very encouraging and supportive place and a place where I can get away from my daily struggles and just relax and know um, I'm in the presence of God and that He's always there for me. Well, in Matthew 28, it talks about the Great Commission to go teach others. And that's basically what we're doing with FCA, is what we want to do is we want to entrust others to go out with this message of Jesus Christ. He allows the athletes to conduct uh, Bible study lessons, like one of my teammates, Aaron Nance. You know, he would always tell me, I'll come to my Bible study class, let me pray for you. Anything you need me to pray for? What's awesome about Chris is that he truly cares about us. I've spent countless hours with Chris talking about you name it. And if I have anything going on in my life, he's definitely one of the first people that I call. For a lot of the student athletes, uh, this is the closest thing they have to family. Many of them have moved from far away and, and some just really don't even have uh, folks in their life that they can really call family. So it becomes much easier for them over time when they see this family atmosphere for them to reach out to teammates, to share Christ with teammates because of what they've experienced on a Monday night. I had two or three people that come with me and after they leave, they want to be a part of something special. And you know, two or three of them got baptized along the way. So just, just those, those memories and, and, 
and that stuff happening for me and for my teammates, I think was a big deal, and you know that's why I love SCA.